Hi, this is Steve Watt with Zookin USA, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the, the boardless processor uh, in the CR8000 tool set. Basically, what boardless processor is, is an ASCII extraction program um, that can be executed against a PCB design. So here I've got a PCB design, um, but what are, where I need to access the boardless processor is from the CR8000 desktop. So from this desktop tool, under the file management functions or file manager, I simply navigate to where my board resides. And let's go to example files. And then I think this is the design I want. And I get a little preview of it over here. And if I right click on that, under actions, I have this option for boardless processor. And that brings up this tool. And it tells me what design I'm acting on. And it's got some uh, kind of default parameters here. But I can also navigate to load a specific set of parameters. So I'm going to load this guy, the 2020.dlpx. And then I'm going to select this component list function. Now, if I want to dig into that, I can go into that edit info list parameters. And from here, I can specify various attributes that I want to see in this ASCII output. So as you can see, I've got a reference designator and a placement coordinate for the X and the Y and placement side and angle and some part name, stock code, package name and footprint name information already pre-specified. Um, so if I go down through here, I can add other elements. I can do a count of those. I can specify whether or not it's an embedded component. Um, I can go into the part category and get individual part information like the authorization level um, or the polarity information. Um, so basically a significant amount of the detailed information within the design is, is accessible here. Um, so basically, if it's characterized in, in the attributes within the design, you can pretty much grab it out of here. Um, and, you know, I can get information on the board ID, uh, the path information, the technology and design rules that were used on the board. So a lot of different, you know, kind of fields that I can grab and pull into various types of, of output reports. And under these options here, I've got the ability to set my delimiter. So I want to set my delimiter between fields to a common, a comma, excuse me. And then I've got my end of record string and, you know, various options for that. And I can output line numbers if I want to. Um, I can specify the number of decimal places that I want to use on this. I'm going to set it to three in my units. Um, uh, coordinate conversion, so I can, you know, kind of... Uh, if I want to orient the board differently, I can compensate for that here. Um, and then I've got this page information for header and footer, and this is manually intervened. So I can go in here and specify uh, that my fields, if I want to put a header on those fields, I can put that in here. Um, and again, separate it with commas. And the reason I use commas to separate those is because uh, out of the box CSV output uh, no need to, to alter anything on the Excel side for interpretation of those. And so once I have that, and I've got my field set the way I want it, I can close this form, and I need to save those changes, and I can just execute it right here. And when I execute, I get this warning that there's a reference designator that refers to one or of a temporary part or a temporary footprint or an auto-generated component because I do have a temporary part in this board. So it's just kind of flagging me that danger, you know, you don't want to release this board the way it sits, but it lets me continue by closing that. And so now I get this output and here's my header section that I talked about. I don't have a footer on this file, so no need to show that. And then it goes through and it lists the reference designator and the coordinate information, I changed that to three decimal places. So you now see that for the coordinate. And then I've got the various other stock code, part, footprint name information uh, there. So basically, this is just kind of a preview output.
I can now save that to a file and I'll just call it uh, test export and I'll save that and now if I open that save to file again and I go to test export uh, this guy here well I should have saved that as a CSV so I'll change that to test export.csv and save that. And now if I go back to here again, navigate to that file, and then just select open, I end up with an Excel file where everything is columnized correctly. And then I can simply double click on these fields and I can see that I've got stock info, package info, footprint info, and I've got my ref des, my coordinate, my placement side, and my placement angle. So pretty much everything that I need to extract information for pick and place about this part. Uh, and that's basically the output that you get from those parameters that I set uh, on the boardless processor. And so that's what I wanted to talk about today. And thanks for, uh, thanks for listening in.